The election of the moment always feels like the biggest yet, but this comes at a time when trust in politics and politicians is at a real low. But as well as becoming big, mud-slinging, shouty arguments, the rallies and debates have also been riddled with untruths. I think it's time for a bit of star power. What do you reckon, Lara? Are you up for a bit of stardust? Oh, definitely. Now, many a rock star and musician has swapped the mic for a go at being a movie star. Madonna's done it. Mick Jagger's done it. Beyonce, too. Stormzy is one of the most successful names in the music industry right now, but he's going to be swapping his next gig from the stage at Glastonbury to the virtual streets of London in a video game. And that's what Lara's been looking at this week. All you need is a projector. It wasn't long ago that the idea of a projector turning any surface into a touchscreen, basically just like a tablet, would have seemed the stuff of sci-fi. But that is what the Hatchy Infinite does. Take a look at this. It hopes for the accuracy, especially when it came to typing on a keyboard like this. But actually, so use it to project on a wall. Although when you do that, you no longer have the touch control available. It also needs to be very close to a wall because if you do it, that's just wrong. Although it is imagine turning up at your friend's house with this. No, it's not a drinks cooler. It's a 4K short throw projector and pretty much everything you need should be built into the box. It streams the content, has got high quality speakers and you can even operate it through Alexa or Google Home using your voice. The lower end of the scale is this pocket projector, which you can connect directly to Wi-Fi or to your phone. Maybe you want to do a slideshow of some photos or it can double up as a speaker. It did start to have a few issues, a few glitches with the app. Point, it's okay. It comes complete with a parent portal so that parents can keep an eye on what the children are watching and prevent them from seeing anything that they shouldn't and off to protect their little eyes. Really slick, the picture quality was sharp and in fact, the sound was pretty decent for these speakers. But the price is high, and I think for a device aimed at kids, it may be too high. Wow, that projected touchscreen was amazing. Yes, it got far more attention in my house than most of the gadgets I'm caught testing. My husband was fascinated. My daughter played noughts and crosses. I'm sorry you haven't had a chance to play. Oh, one day, one day. OK, anyway, that is it for this week. You can find the team online throughout the week on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at BBC Click. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.